I'm Nate Eaton standing outside EBR-1, the world's first nuclear power plant. Now, I will admit, I have never been out here, but what happened inside this building changed history. On this very spot, the United States produced the world's first electricity from nuclear energy. It was August 26, 1966, and President Lyndon Johnson was in Butte County, Idaho at EBR-1. We have come to a place today where hope was born that man would do more with his discovery than unleash destruction in its wake. Standing in front of 15,000 people, Johnson, the only U.S. president who has visited INL, designated the EBR-1 reactor as a registered historical national monument. This energy is to propel the machines of progress. Now, nearly 60 years later, people are still fascinated by what happened here. You're standing on top of a nuclear reactor. This is the reactor. This is the reactor. Liza Raley is an INL tour guide and meets people from all over the world who stop by EBR-1. Just last year, over 15,000 visitors walked through the building. Scientists came here, built this facility, and did two primary things. Breed a new kind of nuclear fuel in the form of plutonium and create the first usable amounts of electricity from atomic power. Those scientists arrived in 1949 and worked hard for two years. Then on December 20th, 1951, they lit up four light bulbs using electricity generated from the reactor. The next day, they lit up the entire building. It was a big deal. It was, you know, I've got at home a copy of the New York Times on the front page of the New York Times with the information they could share. It was still sensitive information, but... Uh, I mean, it was a huge, huge breakthrough. This breakthrough meant atomic energy could be used beyond war and in everyday situations. Those at EBR-1 that day wrote their names on this chalkboard, which is still on the wall today. It was huge. I mean, it was the first reactor for the National Reactor uh, Test Site that ultimately tested 52 reactors. The scientists continued to work on EBR-1 and made advancements in technology. Four years later, in 1955, electricity from the Borax-3 reactor, just a half mile away, was used to light the entire city of Arco. The East Idaho Desert is the birthplace of nuclear energy, the cleanest, safest, carbon-free energy available. EBR-1 was operational until 1964. President Johnson visited it two years later, and the reactor has been open for tours ever since. We have people on staff that make sure it stays preserved the way it was. So when you come in, here you get to see the real experience. That includes the original handwriting on brick walls from scientists hard at work, this hot cell where testing was done on material. This is lead glass, it's four feet thick. I put this phone up here, the last orange dot you can see is the oh, wow. interior of the window. That's how thick that window is. The window goes to that dot? Yes. And upstairs, you'll find this control panel, complete with original buttons, gauges, and levers. So do you want to do something cool, Nate? Yes. Okay. Hit this button. Okay. That, you, you don't want to hit it harder? Okay, you've just scrammed the reactor. Scrammed. What does that mean? Uh, the very first man-made nuclear reaction is December 2nd, 1942, at the University of Chicago, underneath the football stadium on a squash court in the basement, and they called it Chicago Pile 1. They needed somebody to be sure that if something went wrong, they would drop the control rods back into the reactor and shut things down. That's what a control rod does. And they had to call that person something. So they called him the safety control rod axe man uh, or scram. It's just a guy standing up on the mezzanine with a hatchet or an axe. Right. And if something goes wrong, you cut this rope, it'll drop the control rods back in, and it'll shut down the so reaction. So this shuts it all down. That shuts down the reaction. To this day, scram systems are still used in all the reactors, where you'll also find control rooms just like this. Facts that impress project researcher John Grams. How historic is this facility? Incredibly historic. This is the first reactor to actually produce usable power. Um, it's the first um, breeder reactor. It really was the starting point for a whole series of experimental reactors here at the lab. What would you say to people that have never been out here? I'd say you definitely need to come out here. It's an amazing place, and what I think is best about it is everything is kept in its original 
condition. I say to people, you can spend the day or you can spend 20 minutes, but I feel sad if you've missed out on it. Now you can come out here in the summertime. EBR1 is open between Memorial Day and Labor Day every day of the week. Tours are absolutely free. You can walk through by yourself or there are interns out here who will explain the history. Great place to bring the kids, great place to learn about nuclear power. Reporting at EBR1, I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.